Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. They hate when I do this. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. But I still do it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Like a mother. Bye -ya. Bye -ya. Bye -ya. Oh, as you can tell by that thumbnail right there. Where are they now? Dum, 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 dum. Where's Pearl Fernandez and Isado Aguirre at now? A.K. Shaggy. Oh, that's a Shaggy. Where you at, Holmes? Um, he needs. He's at where he needs to be at. Now we all know this case, man. Uh, the heinousness of this crime um, that happened with poor Gabriel Fernandez. Um, it took the world by storm. It was something that was captivating yet crushing to most people. You know, to see people like this do something like this to a child um, was heartbreaking. You know. Usually when you think a two-parent household, whether it be a stepfather or stepmother, whatever the case may be, um, you're kind of happy that the child has at least two parents present. Whether it's the biological father or mother, that shouldn't make no difference. When you get in a relationship with a female in a menudo style in a direct fashion, it's a package deal, man. You know, Spensa um, Latina, it's usually a package deal, and you have to take those children um, as yours, you know, as your own. Um, there's a lot of good men that do that and a lot of good women that do that as well. You know, they get involved with someone who already has children. And nowadays, that's just the way it is, eh? You know, it's going to be hard to find a woman or a man without children or who wasn't in a prior relationship. Especially as you start to elevate in age, you get in your 30s and 40s. Everyone's been around the block in the 6'4 and stretched out just a little too much. I mean, they're going to have children. And, and what you need to do is you need to understand that everybody has a past and let that past lie where it's at. And continue on in the future. If you want to rock with this person, if you want to really be with this person and build a life with them, then their kids are included. Like I said, it's a package deal. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Now, with these children does come a little bit of drama because a lot of them have different attitudes towards maybe having a stepfather or stepmother. And at the same time, you got to deal with baby mama drama or baby daddy drama. And you got to work that out amongst yourselves. It's okay to not really uh, 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 like the person because of prior incidences they may have been involved in. But it's up to you for the child as a parent, you know, to be civil with the people and to co-parent. Do what you got to do. It's just the way it is, man. Spence, I'm not thinking, I didn't make these rules up. Guard! Did you make oh, I didn't make all that? We None of us made them up. It's just the way it is. Now, Pearl Fernandez was not that type of mother. Uh, Shaggy Aguirre, is what I'll call him, because his name is, they called him Tony Shaggy. He had a bunch of different names. Um... He was not that type of stepfather. You know, these were the type of people that put themselves before their children. Okay, and it shows. It shows in the documentary. It shows in what happened in Gabriel's actual life. You know, no one showed this kid any love. No one showed him any, any, any comfort. No one showed him. When he went home from school, he would have rather been at school. You know, at least the teachers uh, uh, showed him some type of sympathy and some type of care. This kid was not getting cared for. He was not getting loved. He might have got food on his plate. He might have got a roof over his head, but there was no love. Okay, with a child that young of age, um, you know, there's creature comforts that everybody enjoys. You know, video games. Kids like their tablets now. And, and my daughters go crazy over all this and all that. And sometimes it's upsetting me because I can't afford it, but I got to break my back. Um, but it is what it is. You know, when you're a parent, you just got to do what you got to do, I guess. You know, that's what you signed up for. Um, and that don't never stop. You can't drop out of being a parent, I don't think. Now, one thing I do know is this. Um, you can't let your own selfish and greedy intentions get in the way of that. And that's what it seems like Pearl Fernandez and her old man did. You know, so when they went through this case with Gabriel and, 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 and they did what they did to him, it shocked the world. I know I looked at it, I was like, man, and I'm not going to even lie, man. The first time it was brought to my attention was by a YouTuber. Um, I seen it on his channel and I was tripping and I was like, I couldn't wrap my head around it. Like, there's no way this could be the real deal, Holyfield, you know? Um, but it was, it was, I actually watched the Netflix special and I seen it, the trials of Gabriel Fernandez on Netflix. And I still watch it from time to time. 
and it disgusts me worse and worse and more and more every time. But I'm trying to catch the intricacies and the details to the story. Where exactly it went wrong, where this mother got twisted enough to let this guy do this to her child or even participate in some of these crimes. You know, people like this, um, I've never ran into like, you know, I've never been around. You know, there's a lot of people that do that. He says, she says, she says, like, God, he says, she said um, about people do this. People that, they don't know. They don't know. You know, it's just a lot of he said. Um, but this was actual and factual. This actually took place over a course of about an eight month period. Um, this kid was actually, um, you know, I don't even want to say the words because YouTube doesn't agree with it. And I don't agree with it. Um, let's just say it was not a good situation for him to be in whatsoever. And, and over time, in due course, he did succumb uh, to not only the mental anguish, but the abuse at the hands of, of his mother and, and stepfather. Um, what would go through the mind of these people to do that? Now, Pearl Fernandez came from the ghetto, looked ghetto, was ghetto. She was a hood rat from the ghetto, right? Someone who just wanted to be loved by whatever man would love her. And how many of those women have we seen? They're out there, they're tortas. Um, don't know one really want them. They're throwaways. You know what I mean? Again, hey, scratch your name off the telephone book. You said never again to take the second look. A mammon and a bye-bye cabrona. Right? That's what they get. Um, and somewhere along the line, something in their mind clicks to the point that they'll do anything to keep this man. Anything. Okay? And if the man isn't of sound mind and the right way of thinking, if his sanity is not all there, well, then he's going to apply pressure. And in this case, that's what O'Shaggy did. He applied pressure Meaning that he basically was the king of that household. And the way he ran that household, the mother just was going to turn the cheek and let it go. You know, when it's your children, you need to fight for your children no matter what. Shout out Cain Velasquez, right? You need to fight for your children no matter what. Doesn't matter if you're all in love. I'm in love with them. No, you don't understand. It's people about six and two quarters. None of that matters, girl. Your children should come first. Men, I say it again. Your children should come first first you know damn but she, you don't understand her snapback is real homie. I mean, the way she does her kegels and her get her kegel the kegelization is real. nah i don't care about none of that your children come first you know i understand there's certain situations where the parents don't see eye to eye and, and you'd rather not be around them and you need to work that out in the future that's understandable and okay but your children need to come first man okay they need they need what the, you know everything everything is is for them that's our future that's our foundation now, as a parent, you have to lead the way. Now, these parents didn't lead the way. They led the way to tragedy and disaster. So I ask you, gente, what would you ever do if you ever came across people like this? Would you do the most to prevent it? Because in this child's life, man, it was, there was a lot of people that kind of seen it and turned a blind eye to it. And that's what blew up the case more so than even what happened to him, man, which I thought was tragic because I thought what happened to him was the, the focus and the pinpoint of the story, you know, when it came to Gabriel. I thought all eyes should have been and attention should have been on him rather than um, them tripping off the school board and, 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 and the social services that didn't do their job. Didn't do their pinchy job. Okay, um, it's understandable in a, in, in, in a big county um, that they lived in, you know, a lot of things get overlooked. I understand people are, you know, overworked and underpaid and they're just not paying no never mind. But when it comes to children, man, you need to go above and beyond um, approach. You need to go above and beyond your, your due course of your job during the day. You need to really see what's going on because tragedy can happen. And this is what happened to Gabriel. Um, now, his parents went through trial and ultimately did take, uh, I know the mother, Pearl Fernandez, took a deal and she ended up with life without the possibility of parole. I've told the story how my tia... Rest in peace, my tia Lupe, did run into her in Chachilla Women's Prison um, and had some words for her, and, and, and there was people that had some feet for her. Now, that's just how it is. You know, um, women's prisons are a lot different than men's prisons. Okay, let's get that out the water right now. Whereas men's, in men's prisons, it's very political. It goes along the racial lines. It goes around the gang lines. There are certain things that happen that we can't speak on right here. And that's just the way it's always been. That's the way it's going to be. I'm just functioning forward, forever forward doing that. But whenever you're in a women's prison, I don't know, guard, you worked there, right, didn't you? Whenever you're in a women's prison, from what I've heard from several individuals, several people that have done time there, uh, my tia, homegirls, my friends, right? They told me that, you know, it's more about the drama. It's more about relationships. It's more about women and women and, and, and relationships. Because you got to understand, women are, 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 are 
creatures of habit, creatures of nature. They, they are very emotional. They, they live off emotions. So when they get incarcerated, it's more about the bickering of who's, who's old lady's dad, who's old lady's dad. And that's pretty much what it comes down to. There are some gang members that come from the L.A. area or maybe up north in Frisco, Oakland, that hold on to those, those beliefs. But at the end of the day, um, you know, it's overridden and overtaken by the drama of where they're at. Now, Per Fernandez going there, nobody, and I mean nobody li likes a woman um, that would have done that to her own children. Period. She was blasted all over Netflix, all over the newspaper. Of course, they're looking at her. And subsequently, since she's been incarcerated, bad things have happened to her. And it's unfortunate that it has to go that way. But when someone like that of that character does and goes to prison for them type of crimes, they are going to be treated as such. Sorry, Spence, up period. On we go. Okay, as far as the other Bible, so he, he fought it a little bit. I don't know what he was thinking. And he ultimately got the death penalty. So now he sits in San Quentin. Now, we all know that San Quentin has overturned the death penalty or the state of California has. And so, so now most people in death row are hitting these main lines. Not general population main lines, not all of them. It's depending upon your case factors and when you go to ICC. Because um, there's a thing that you go called committee. You go sit with a couple of lieutenants, captains, sergeants, and counselors. And they're going to dictate where you go. They're going to open your G file, your C file right in front of them. And they're going to read along the lines to if you told on anyone's, if you debriefed on anyone, if you go to certain yards, how many uh, enemy people are on your enemy list, so on and so forth. And that's what's going to dictate where you go. Of course, you get to voice your opinion. And blah, 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 but I don't want to go there because you don't understand. There's a lot of name bam bam that's going to bam bam my head. So everyone gets input. At the end of the day, they're going to put you where you need to be placed. Someone like Shaggy Aguirre. You know, uh, uh, Isarro, or however you say his name, Isarro, um, seems to me like he would be placed in a protective housing unit. Just because his crimes are so heinous and it's, so, it's such a notorious case, that's what it seems like he would be placed to me. Now, I know he did sit on San Quint in San Quentin's death row um, since, since he was convicted. Facts. Um, but subsequently, I believe he has been moved or he's going to be moved um, to one of these SNY yards or one of these PHUs, which is a protective housing unit. And the protective housing unit is the worst of the worst. Basically, the people that can't even walk in this and Y yard uh, without some type of static. Um, so that's where they are now. Where are they in their lives? Where do you think these people are? Every day you have to look in the mirror or they have to look in the mirror and wonder how they got there. All because they couldn't love a, a child that just wanted to be loved. Kids are not too bad. They're not too hard. They go through phases, man. I deal with it every day. They go through phases, you know, I don't want to eat that. I don't want, can I eat that? Can you make me a pizza? Then they're picking the pepperonis off. Hey, man, I freaking worked all day. I can't even, you know what I mean? But you deal with it. Okay, what do you want? You know, at first you get mad. Fine, then you're not going to eat then. Then 10 minutes later, you want a soap bar or something? I mean, because it hurts your heart when your kid's not, you know, eating it. I know it does me. You know, I'll be playing that tough role. Like, all right, if you're going to eat what I made you. Okay, five minutes later, you want to go to McDonald's with me, huh? Right, you know what I mean? That's what a loving father does. Um, you got to be stern. You got to show discipline. But at the same time, man, it's hard as a dad to break it down. You know, to a daddy's girl, it's just, it's just what it is. But for these people to to not be able to do that, to show any type of restraint from what they was what was going on in their head. And I don't know if drugs were involved. I don't know um, if they just both had a lot of things on their mind. But there was no excuse for what happened in that home. You know, I don't go into details of that crime because definitely um, everything's been put out there and there's no reason for me to speak on it. And I can't stomach speaking on that. Um, I've never been that type of person to wish ill will, especially on any people or a kid. Man, that's not my thing. One thing I will say, though, that is for sure is um, it's facts what happened in this case. It's it's heinous. It's probably one of the most heinous crimes ever to happen in California history. Um, and 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 we have to deal with it as a society, you know. We have to take the initiative and the measures to, to stay aware of things around us and what's going on. And I just did a spill the other day, and I said the same thing. Keep your fucking eyes open, man. Watch where you're going. Look around you. Look at your neighbors. Say hi. Get ingrained in society and in what's going on. Because if you stay to yourself and not, nah, nah, I'm going to be over here. Watch out. Guard. Come on, man. We're going to be over here. I, who, said, who said I was going to be over here? I'm over here. I'm at one. Well, what, the, the, you're on your own. Um, if you're not... If, you, if you're one of those people, and I was always one of those people, it's the way I was raised. You know, mind your own business, man. Mind your own or your own will remind you. But now in today's society, um, everything that's done on your street, on your block can affect you. 
So your best bet and the best thing for you to do is just pay attention to what's going on um, so that way you don't get caught up in situations in the future. Now, um, where is uh, Pearl Fernandez? Like I said, I believe she's still in Chowchilla uh, Women's, uh, Central California Women's Facility um, in the oil. She's going to be doing a lot, a lot of whole time. Um, it seems like every time she gets out, I've heard of several incidences. Every time she gets out, man, she's getting plaqueada. She's getting uh, ran up on. You know, eventually over time, I think as the story fades away and if people let it fade away, people are going to forget who she is. New inmates will come, people that just don't care. Um, and she'll be able to to do her program. Now, she will be there for life. So I'll go, it will always come up. The cream rises to the top, right? The cream will rise to the top and someone's going to blow her top off. That's just how it is. Um, so eventually you can never escape the demons of your past. Um, but I believe over due course in time, eventually some of the stories will fade and, and, and dim. Um, it's, up for, it's up to people like us, man, to keep it relevant for this kid's sake and for his name. Um, as far as the other guy, he has it a little bit easier. You know, he's able to stay out the way. Um, being a bigger guy, um, more people or less, uh, more people of that caliber on the yards he's going to go to won't approach him. Now, if he hits the wrong yard, wrong place, wrong time, something bad will happen. That's facts. Um, but as of till right now, I'm sure, you know, he's been kept segregated or separated from everybody. And he should be, man, because all it's going to do is get people stretched out, maxed out, life beefs. And, you know, ultimately, uh, it is what it is. It's just a story in itself. You know, what was going through that man's mind? I, I don't understand, man. He had a good job. I guess he was some uh, security, private, whatever he was. Um, uh, top white, uh, was it top uh, flight security of the world, Craig? Utterly guard. He was doing uh, top flight security. Say it with your chest, Wes. He was doing his thing. Um, and, you know, and, and I'm sure they, all his co-workers, everyone around him said he was a lovable, uh, huggable type of person. He was cool. He had a smile on his face at all times. Quiet, yet cool. And then going home and doing these types of things for no reason to a child. What a despicable uh, 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 scum of the earth type person, right? Um, one only knows does one. Anyways, um, where are these two people at now? Living still. Do they deserve it? One never knows, does one. One thing I know for sure is Gabriel is not, and, and that's the unfortunate part of this story. You know, it's up to people like me, you, people who have platforms to keep this story alive because uh, without us uh, uh, keeping Gabriel's name uh, aflame and burning and, and out there, you know, it's going to fade away after time. And there's no way me, myself, in my own mind, can I let it fade away because these people are still alive while he's not, man. Uh, things were done that we would never know about or we can never experience um, and that I hope no one ever has to experience, let alone a child. And at the end of the day, man, these people are still breathing the beautiful air that we rock. Um, and it's just an unfortunate thing. Anyways, I wanted to bring this story up because I felt it was time. Where are they now? Like I said, they're locked up where they shall remain. Um, because California has overthrown the death penalty, I don't think uh, Isado uh, Aguirre will be facing that anytime soon. They got plenty of appeals to go through. I know Pearl was going up for an appeal um, to which she was denied. Uh, with that being said, I hope that you uh, move smooth with a purpose. I hope that you get every single thing that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the strive and the struggle for your familia and your children. Do it for your children because no one else is going to do it. And if you, I'm talking to you, uh, uh, Tortas, Buzz down, Tortiana, buzz down. If you get a new old man, watch your old man around your kids, man. Okay, those are yours, not his. If he's not willing to make him to make him his, he ain't the one. Same thing goes for the Baltos, man. If you got a hyena and she's more worried about her nails and her hair and her fucking BBL than she is changing your son's diaper, spend on la tira. You got to go. Maybe baby mama was worth the struggle, huh? I don't know. But with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. If you like this, hit that like and subscribe with a thumbs up. If not, you can hit me with that thumbs down. Baby's going to be in the head that wears this fly-ass bull's crown. I'm going to continue to strive and struggle for what I truly and honestly believe in. And that's the coming together of all people. We need to do more things like this on our platforms. We need to make people aware. We need to keep Gabriel's name going. Cain Velasquez, like I said, respect is what a real man does for, a real, uh, for his real family. And that's just what it's going to be like, man. With that being said, this is the gun. I'm applying pressure. I'm applying pressure. Bang, bang. And in that fashion, gracias.